Hello everyone, Phoenix Father here, and welcome back to some Formic Simulator 15. I'm on uh, Idaho again. Uh, this is not the the final version. This is an earlier test version I did. I seem to have fixed the issue, whatever it was causing, the random frame drops. I, I don't, I don't, I, I just don't know what it was. I evidently I fixed it because I have start fooling around in the mod description and. Uh, pulling some stuff out that I, I wouldn't use because I really like this map. I really want to stick to it. Uh, I wanted to separate this stuff from that anyway. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to try to stick it out here on Idaho. Uh, so far, so good. I haven't had been fooling around with it all day. Haven't had the frame drops I was having in the late, you know, like the latest videos I had on here. So yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I fixed it. But anyway, you're wondering why are why are you rambling, sir? And why is there another farming simulator video? This is not a regular scheduled farming simulator video. Well, this video is to celebrate 20,000 subscribers. That's right, the big 2OK. Ah, I'm getting so old. No, um, <laughs> we have hit 20,000 subscribers. Matter of fact, probably over by the time this video actually goes up um, because I won't be at home most of the day on Friday and right now I think I'm like 55 away and I usually gain uh, anywhere between 40 and 50 a day so I'm pretty sure I'll hit it on Friday which would be perfect for the stream but uh, I you know I might hit it before I get home I, I don't know uh, I'm hoping I hit it during the stream so I can leave the, have the little counter today Oh yes, I hit 20k. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, uh, to celebrate 20k, I want to do um, something. You know, let you guys know me a little bit more and uh, do five interesting facts about Phoenix Feather, the Phoenix Feather Five Triple F. <laughs> we need to start this up so we can lower those ramps, don't we? What? Let's see. Okay. Anyway, so five interesting Phoenix Feather facts. Uh, I I had to choose five. I had a little bit more than five. They weren't that entertaining, and I wanted to you know stick with the F. You know, Phoenix Feather fact five. Well, technically, it's like quadruple F. Anyway, so let's get this started. Stop the rambling. Okay, so, first off, I was a paranormal investigator. I've talked about this before, so it's not going to come to too much surprise to any of y'all, but I have dug up uh, my one of my old clips. Actually, this is the first clip I had after joining uh, said paranormal investigation team. Uh, it's We were in an abandoned house, and the one of my co team members uh, asked where was how did they get upstairs and right after he asked it there was a there was a voice I'll play it for you uh, for me it sounds like it says he'll kill me which was amazing you could hear it clear as day uh, yeah so I'll play it now hopefully hopefully I have the clip to play it now So, interesting stuff, right? Uh, even through in the video, as you can see, it wasn't that great at the time. But hey, it was a video. So there you go. For those of you uh, that didn't know, I was a paranormal investigator. Uh, I started, you know, the first real, uh, how do I put it? Uh, I had my first paranormal experience when I was young. And the second paranormal experience I had that got me really into wanting to investigate was I stayed in the bathroom one day and the way our bathroom was in the house I grew up in is right in when you right when you walk in of the bathroom there was a, a counter and a mirror so you could see 
the hallway behind you in the mirror. So that one more I was brushing my teeth getting ready for school. And in the mirror behind me, I seen a black shadow figure dart behind me. Now, I was home alone. <laughs> my brothers and my mother had left for work already. My dad had not gotten home from work yet. So I was all alone. There was no one in in the, the, the house at all. I saw this figure, took off after it, and chased it out to my door where it disappeared. Out to out to the front door where it disappeared. Crazy stuff. And ever since then I was using my dad's old tape recorder and I was I was investigating the paranormal. Um It was an interesting experience. I'd love to get into it again. Uh I just can't afford to buy a new camera because my, my other camera kinda kinda went on me, so unfortunately that ended things uh number four was i actually got the chance to sort of kind of hang out with the band hinder for those of you who don't know hinder hinder was well they still are the lead singer uh is no longer with them uh they got a new lead singer now but they were a pretty popular band in like the early 2000s uh like when i was in high school their most popular song came out uh which was uh lips of an angel and yeah it played on the radio daily uh so actually it was the year i graduated i believe the year I graduated, I went to the state fair where it was headlined by Stained and Three Doors Down, and opening form was Hender and Jet Black Stare. And after Hender set, they come out. Let's turn our beacons on. Uh, they come out and they were sitting off to the right hand of the stage where all their buses were parked. And they sat out in front of their their bus. They had like a little tent set up there. They're all just sitting there, you know, drinking beer. And you could actually go up and just talk with them. They were they were really cool guys. Uh, actually, I got to see them sign. The, actually, the the couple that was sitting in front of us at the concert. Uh, she yeah, he he signed her yeah. Anyway. <laughs> It was pretty cool. I got to talk with them. They're really chill, really cool guys, and it was it was it was good times, fun times. Uh, it just sucks that the lead singer is not with them anymore because I'm not a huge fan of their new lead singer. Uh, I think uh, what was his name, Austin Winkler, was a way better lead singer, and now he's off doing his own music, which actually sucks. It's like a poppy country sound. No, I, I pass. Uh, Hinder was amazing. I understand why he did it. It was about drugs, and you know, he got out of it, which is, which I'll find Danny. But man, such a great band that's no longer with us. Well, no longer truly with us. Anyway, next up, number three is I actually played multiple sports. Um, I get asked this often uh, if I played any sports. I played football I played baseball bowling I consider it a sport hey I, I won trophies off of it so I consider it a sport uh, that's pretty much the only thing I actually played like team wise um, outside of that I played a lot of sports like with friends and stuff such as my favorite believe it or not favorite uh, sport to play is tennis uh, I had I don't know, tennis was just entertaining. I always loved playing it. I, I, I might be weird, but tennis was fun as hell to play. Uh, me and a couple of friends, we'd go out to the school uh, tennis court, and we'd, we'd just have a ball. <laughs> Literally, no. Uh, so, uh, and also I played a lot of basketball. Never tried out for a team. Uh, I was pretty good at uh, shooting. Uh, just I, I never really wanted to play on a team. I, I considered that my peaceful time. 
uh, we had when I was in, living at home, we had a, a driveway that was mostly gravel, but at the end was paved so I could take my net out there, set it up, and just shoot some hoops for a while and and relax and enjoy uh, just the peace and quiet out there, which I don't have anymore living where I live. But <laughs> it was fun. Uh, never, again, never went, went to play anything else. Uh, I played baseball for a while. It got boring to me. Uh, it just, <laughs> it, it's just, it, it's not a game to play for long periods of time. It gets boring after a while. Okay, so next up, number two. Um, I get made fun of all the time when I start singing. But little do, do people know that I actually, I have four I guess you can call them albums under my belt. And when I'm singing and goofing off in stream, that's not me singing. Um, and you'll probably never hear me sing because I hate the sound of my voice. Uh, even when I'm, I'm just recording videos, I, I hate the sound of my voice. But when I was in high school, um, I was in my own band. I fronted my own band. We actually record two CDs. Like I think I had like six original songs and a bunch of covers that we did you know just just for the heck of it uh they weren't the greatest of qualities it was just recorded us uh, you know we it wasn't like professionally done studio my friend's dad had a a a somewhat of a studio in in their basement and we used that to just fool around in uh he never used it so we put it to use uh, and then uh, when I was in, also in high school uh, I was in a, a electrical construction and for us to raise money we recorded uh, Christmas albums to help sell and raise money to buy uh, wire and stuff for, for the shop uh, and the teacher uh, he He's got, again, he has a, a recording studio and uh, he brought in his equipment in the school, recorded us, and yeah, good times. So I actually, I, I have some singing background, which you guys probably will never hear. I might actually ask my teacher if he minds us using, or minds me using the Christmas music for Christmas time this year for like when I'm streaming to play in the background. I don't know. Uh, cause I still have those, I still have those albums, the albums of the rock band, I wasn't, no, I'm not even gonna tell you guys the name, that, that pretty, puts me out there, <laughs> but, last but not least, this is my, probably my most interesting fact about me, uh, and that was, I was actually in a movie, no lie, no joke, I was in a movie, uh, I don't even remember what year it come out in. Um, it was the main star was Chris Rock. He was running for president, I believe it was. And in the movie, he throws out the first pitch at a, at a Baltimore Orioles baseball game. I was there. <laughs> I was in the stands. And no, I wasn't paid anything. No, I wasn't credited in the movie. But the section I was sitting in was clearly filmed. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that that actually happened. I actually got pictures. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, share them in the video. Uh, I have to see if I can get them uploaded in time to before I can upload this or start rendering this video. I guess see if I can find them first, uh, where it says vote May was. It, Maze Gillian was his name in the movie or something. Anyway, the movie's called Head of State. So yeah, technically I was in a movie. Yeah. Movie star. Yes, I used that line to pick up my wife. No, she didn't believe me. To this day, I think she still doesn't believe me. But it's true. 100%, 100% true. I was in that movie. But anyway, guys, let's get to it. Thank you guys so much for 20,000 20, subscribers. It means a ton to me. Uh, it's it's 
I, I say this every time I reach a milestone. It's so unbelievable that that many people are interested in my channel. Interested enough that they actually click that little red button. It's it's mind boggling, and it will only continue to blow my mind as we we reach further. Um, we are now five thousand away from a quarter of a thousand or a hundred. Yeah, a quarter of a hundred thousand. So we'll be a quarter away to our getting our silver play button. That's awesome. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of Farming Simulator 15 videos, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye bye.